Well, this area of Mount St. Helens, uh, north of Mount St. Helens, was the site of intense uh, uh, geologic activity. Up to 600 feet of strata formed here at this location. 600 feet of strata is, is a hard to believe, but since 1980, since May 18, 1980, up to 600 feet of deposits have formed here. And this area has been eroded since then to uh, show us some of the 600 feet of deposits that have formed here. What is amazing is the uh, minute layering that formed in uh, some of these deposits. We have historic observation and eyewitness reports and photographs of this area repeatedly between the eruptions showing us the sequence of which these deposits formed. Each layer has a date and I'm fascinated as I study these layers because each layer represents a geologic catastrophe formed since 1980. Uh, the, the one that comes to my mind most uh, uh, vividly here is behind us. We see this layered June 12, 1980 pumice flow deposit. Hurricane velocity surging flows from the crater of Mount St. Helens came surging down right over this area. In a matter of hours, deposited 25 feet in thickness of strata and minutely layered strata. I had thought that a volcanic eruption would form hom a homogenized series of deposits Boy, was I wrong. Here are these, uh, these flows moving at twice freeway speed through this area deposit this minutely layered uh, deposit. Uh, there are mud flow deposits here. There is the nine hour uh, eruption deposit from uh, the uh, nine hour eruption on May 18th. There's all kinds of uh, interesting features. This is, a, this is a wonderland for geologists to study. If you were here watching the uh, the June 12, 1980 pumice flow deposit form, you'd be dead, okay? It was that hazardous of an environment. Nobody actually saw the individual layers form. Underneath this uh, ground-hugging cloud of volcanic ash and steam, I suppose, uh, this layer formed. We believe it took minutes for individual layers to form. Perhaps pulses, the eruption occurred in pulses and this material came sliding down through this area. And uh, that's how we got the, uh, each, each, each of these layers. I had thought that a catastrophe would homogenize things. And I had thought that layers form slowly and gradually, like between wet years and dry years, or between summer and winter. And the boundary between two adjacent strata would represent long periods of inactivity, perhaps uh, um, you know, hundreds of years of nothing going on. Boy, was I wrong. Look at this. Uh, 25 feet of layers formed in just a matter of hours here at the volcano.